Just at the end of last year, rapper French Montana treated himself to a new luxury mansion in the famed Hidden Hills neighborhood. He purchased the estate for $8.4 million off of NBA star Paul George, and it's now French's second property in this area. He still owns his Los Angeles starter house, if you want to call it that, a Tuscan style mansion he bought off of Selena Gomez in 2016. While French put it on the market for the first half of 2020 for $6.6 .6 million, it's since been delisted. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Today we'll take a look at the rapper's lavish homes including his new one in Hidden Hills. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kareem Karbouch, who's better known as French Montana, is a Moroccan American rapper and founder of Coke Boys Records. While he released independent material for years, he signed onto a joint record deal with Diddy's Bad Boy label and Rick Ross's Maybach Music Group back in 2012. Since his debut album, he's experienced considerable success in the music industry and continues to work on releasing hit songs and collabs. French's single from 2017, Unforgettable with Sway Lee, is by far his most popular to date and was also his first song as lead artist to reach the top 10 on the Billboard charts. That one was definitely a summer anthem. At the moment, French Montana's net worth is estimated to be $16 million or more, which has no doubt earned him some impressive real estate. He's lived in lavish New Jersey mansions, stayed in Miami, and now owns two properties in the posh Hidden Hills. It's safe to say the rapper has come a long way since his humble beginnings, moving to America from Morocco at the young age of 13, and then living in the Bronx. I wonder if French knew the life of luxury that would await him. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed that 95% of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for all the best celebrity house tours and more. We post a new video daily. While we reported on rapper French Montana's homes in the past, he recently bought a brand new Hidden Hills mansion, so it was time for an update. We'll be checking out this estate and more. On this channel, we talk about celebrity house but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. Just a few months ago, French Montana snagged a gorgeous home in the exclusive Hidden Hills neighborhood, which is about twice the size of his other residence located just down the road. The rapper and songwriter spent over $8.4 million on the abode, and the seller was Los Angeles Clippers star Paul George, who first listed the home back in June for almost $9.5 million. Although it looks like he sold the mansion at a discount, he still made a buck on the sale considering he purchased it for $7.4 million some years ago. Built back in 1989, French's new mansion spans nearly 16,000 square feet of space with 7 beds and 9 baths throughout. The great room alone is 4,000 square feet, so yes, it's decidedly massive. This space boasts soaring ceilings, motorized skylights, and full walls of glass that slide open to reveal the grounds. NBA star George likely didn't make many changes to the home during his 4 years living here since it doesn't look like it's changed all that much from the original design. The massive home resembles a modern mixed with old world Tuscan style estate, but from the street view, it looks pretty unique and widely shaped. French's new mansion sits on Ashley Ridge, which is the most desirable pocket of Hidden Hills, and other residents include Kris Jenner and Khloe Kardashian, Jeffree Star, and Dodgers icon Vin Scully. Back inside that 4,000 square foot great room, there are several other intimate seating areas, one of which joins a large stone fireplace. In French's new kitchen, there's a marble breakfast bar with room for six to dine, and the full suite of designer appliances. Elsewhere, he has access to a games room, additional den with fireplace, formal dining room, and wood paneled study. If that's not enough, the mansion offers more highlights, including a home theater for cozy movie nights, a fitness center with steam shower, as well as a wine cellar. Because what mansion doesn't have one of those? Moving upstairs, Montana's new Titanic master suite is luxurious to say the least, but the design is still a bit dated. The rapper is free to redecorate it any way he chooses and can easily make it more modern. There's a sitting room with wall-to-wall -wall gray carpets, a two-sided fireplace, and an ensuite with a skylight. Even the bathroom has its own lounge space. There are also two walk-in closets and dressing rooms, and its own private patio. This 
terrace overlooks the multi-level backyard, which is more like a resort when you factor in all of the amenities. Set on 1.44 acres of land, French's private grounds include stone decks, an outdoor kitchen with barbecue, an entertainment patio with fireplace, and a separate music and TV center. It'll be hard to get bored at this estate considering there's also a basketball court, built-in playground for the kids, and a swimming pool and spa. Not to mention, the entire property is landscaped beautifully and is super private. It's surrounded by a dense collection of mature trees and palms, and there are fruit trees out here as well. Let's not forget, French still owns his Los Angeles starter house, a Tuscan style mansion in the same Hidden Hills neighborhood just down the street. The rapper purchased this place in 2016 off of Selena Gomez, and it cost him $3.3 million. He put it up on the market for the first half of 2020, starting with a $6.6 .6 million price tag, which then lowered to $5.6 million, and then it was delisted altogether. Clearly, he still owns it. This three acre compound is mansion worthy, but not nearly as large as his new residence, still spanning over 7,700 square feet in the main house with a detached studio style guest house on the property, as well that has a kitchen and bathroom. Inside the main house, there are five beds and six baths, and the entire estate is protected by a heavy duty security system with motion detectors, two dozen cameras, and panic buttons in every room. Talk about safety. Just inside the front door of the abode, you'll find a stonewalled wine cave and a grandly sized double height living room, leading out to a romantic courtyard. The all white kitchen is also roomy and perfect to entertain or to just enjoy your favorite meals. And this space opens to an informal dining area and a family room. The family room boasts a gorgeous white marble fireplace and a wall of glass that folds open to reveal the yard. Other noteworthy features of French's first Hidden Hills home include a cozy media lounge with palm pattern wallpaper a movie theater, a gym, a state-of-the-art recording studio with disco lighting. Moving outside to the resort style grounds, there are lush gardens everywhere you look and additions like a palm tree framed open air entertainment pavilion, boasting a fireplace and a Viking outdoor kitchen. Of course, there's also a brick pizza oven here which is perfect for impressing guests and elsewhere a stone lined swimming pool and spa. Not to mention moving to the front of the estate, there is a stately circular driveway complete with a topiary elephant. While the Moroccan born musician was seeking a return on this home and to make some money, he has since taken the property off market. So now we've taken a look at two of French Montana's properties, including his brand new upgrade mansion in Hidden Hills and the first one he bought down the road off of Selena Gomez. Looking at both of those mansions, which was your favorite? Were they his style? Let's not forget the rapper also spends a lot of time in Miami. Last year, he was holed up in a mansion there and shared a lot of it on Instagram, being on the water with his buddies and enjoying the sun. However, it could have just been a rental property. Either way, the pad he was staying at was right on the water and boasted a grassy lawn and a private pool. Be sure to tell me down in the comments what features of French Montana's homes were your fave or even give them a rating. I personally like both of his Hidden Hills mansions but the new one has some impressive features like that massive great room. I really want to get to know you guys better, so please subscribe to my personal channel and check out my latest video. Drop me a comment and we can continue the conversation there. So Elise's missing person case, one thing that was a huge deal was a viral video of her in the CISO hotel. One of the staff, he goes up to check the water tanks on the roof. Long story short, they find Elise's body in there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see next on this channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!